dead. Okay, so we've finished up our drawing our bracket now. It should look something like that. What we then want to do is we want to create an orthographic view of that. We want to create an elevation, a plan, and an end view of that. So I'm going to go to File, and I'm going to go into New, and I'm going to select Part Drawing. So you would have always select a part previous, now I'm selecting Drawing. I'm going to click on the green tick, or the OK button. And I have four options there for me. I have A1, A0, A2, A3, A4. I'm going to just select A3. Okay. I'm going to select A3. I'm going to click on the green tick or OK. So there is my sheet template. It's a very dodgy sort of sheet template. Don't worry too much about that. So now what we have here is any open part is shown here. So any open document is shown here as being the part that you want to actually make a drawing of. Because generally we make parts of drawings that are open. So if, in, if I don't have the part I want there, I can go in and select Browse. The part I'm looking for is here, it's called Bracket. And I'm going to go up here to the next step. So the next step is up here. This is a little wizard that lets me go through different things. So it's going to ask me what do I want to do. I can have a default configuration. I can select bodies I want to do. I can create multiple views, okay? Or I can do a lot of different things. So I'm just going to basically pick multiple views to create multiple views, okay? And I want to come down here and I want to have front view. So I want to have a front view, okay? So I'm going to click on green tick. Like that. So that's going to be front view and my plan view. Okay, so I can move that over here, move that down. Okay, so the problem here is that this is coming in in American. So it's in third angle as opposed to first angle. Okay, so what I can do is I can just simply left click on the first uh, drawing type and I can to be able to scroll down here and change. I can't. That's okay. Okay. So I'm just going to delete that view. I don't really want that view to delete. Because yes, I want that. So I'm going to click on this view. I'm going to make it a bit bigger. I'm going to create it to maybe be, instead of the scale, not use the sheet size. I'm going to use custom scale. I'm going to make it one is to one. So it's going to make it big. Like that. Okay. And then what I want to do is I want to put in an auxiliary view or projected view. I want to put in an objective view. From that, I'm going to project it over here. That's going to put in this one. And then I want to project this one, but I want to project it on top. Somewhere like that. Now I need to be able to, I can just simply click on that and move that around the sheet as I want to. So I'm going to move it somewhere like this. Like so. And then the last thing I need to do is I need to go and create myself a project an asymmetric view. Okay, so I'm going to put in a, a model view. Okay. I'm going to click on next. And it's going to be trimetric. I'll click on there. And that now is my, my, my view. I can come down and I can put that in colors. So I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to select display style. So shaded with edges. Or shaded without edges. I'm going to go shaded with edges. Looks better. And I'm going to make that from instead of custom scale, I'm going to change that to 1.1. 1 .1. Okay, so that has to be big enough. So I'm going to put that over there. 1.1 1 .1 might be a bit too big. So let's go down and change that to the use custom scale. Use user defined and instead of one is to one point one maybe one is to point seven five. Sorry, it's the wrong way around. Point seven five is to one. Whoa, that is the wrong that's seventy five, not point seven five. There we go. Okay, so something like that. The last thing you need to do now is put the mentions on, so I need to go to annotations and I'm gonna click on model items. And I'm going to select the entire model and I'm going to click on the green tick. And it'll put in every dimension that I need. I don't need all the dimensions, I just need some of them. So I can actually just go around, select the ones that I want, select the ones that I don't want. So sometimes it's just a wizard, it brings in all the dimensions for us. So, for example, this dimension here starts over here, which I really want it to start somewhere around here. So there's just a bit of pulling around to make sure that it's like in the right spot, in the right space, and so on. And, and bring it around. Okay? So it's just a case of pulling it around to the right way around and deleting any ones that I don't want. So any of the ones that I think are just a bit too duplicated or look a bit dodgy or something like that, I can bring them around and delete. But okay. So just a case of doing that. That's the steps involved, start to finish. 
what you want to do then is you want to go then when you're finished doing your dimensions you go file you click on save as we save it as a drawing file so bracket drawing we click on save and then we say file save as and we save it as a J or PDF so we save it as a PDF and save okay and that's that we're not going to worry too much about the sheet style here yet we're going to work that a little different day but what you're going to do is you're going to upload the three files you're going to upload your power file you're going to upload your drawing file and you're going to upload your PDF file to Moodle when I create the assignment and that will allow us then to be able to let me crack it easily because Moodle doesn't open SolidWork files so I can just check roughly on PDF to see does it look right if it looks right you get the marks if it doesn't look right I can go in and inspect and look at the drawing itself and make a better judgment on what grade should be is that okay so that's pretty much that